Daddy's Day. The fans lined up early to see the number one ranked Arkansas Razorbacks winners of 12 straight. Trying to sweep a three game weekend series. The whole entire strike zone. He'll set that fastball around 90 and he'll third. Corona gets the start and left. Cerna behind the plate. Curtis Packett Smith does to go up in the zone and elevate. And that's a wave and a miss. So all three games in this series have started with a Tiger. Yesterday, he had the only hit. The scary part is, and that's ball four, Austin will walk. If the Tigers can't get to Molina and force him out of the game, the Tigers would load the bases but fail to score in the fourth. That's a wave and a miss. I think you'd like to press the issue a little bit, but again, that's 26 strikeouts and 18 and two thirds. In. You really don't want to offer at that pitch. Because nobody's long pause from Molina before a flip to first, and they have another one picked off. Austin will run towards second, easily tagged out by Stovall. And sometimes then McLaughlin will be at first. Lovich in left. Sprague lot back at third. So Curtis is one of the 10 strikeout victims. Hit a home run this series. He's going to take the first pitch into left center for a base hit, retrieved by Corona, and played back in to keep Stovall to a long year. So I think he's using that earpiece again rather than the like that. Dicks. Ball headed back to the fence and it short hops the wall. Can Stovall score from first? He's going to be waved in. The throw's cut off. Stovall's out of gas. But you know it when you're still trying to come back from a broken foot. You have and to, uh, Stovall, he is just <laughs> laboring. <laughs> this is a look of exhaustion. So Vahiva homered yesterday. Long pause before the payoff pitch. That's outside, that's a walk, and I don't think Rustad wanted to lose that considering how many pitches he invested. Rustad closes off from that set position. McLaughlin lifting one in the air to left. Corona started back, now he has to come charging in. He's gonna make the throw. And safe at the plate is Diggs. The ball on the base run. Get him in the trading table. On the ground to second. Austin will make the play. Throw out Lovich for the second. Even with the pitch timer, he's a little bit slow. Sprague lot hits a pop up into shallow right. Moore comes charging in. He'll get there to make the catch to end the inning. So Arkansas. That's when that happens. <laughs> two two to Curry, and that is strike three. Breaking ball at the top of the zone. Molina the K. Curry doesn't like, but he has some company as far as the offers go. Here's a payoff. That strike three called. Neither Tigers cared for the strike three, and it's nothing like the guy that last year had third. And the 2-2, two -two. how about a sweeping breaking ball, strike three. And Molina strikes out the side of the center. They're playing spring training games with their top prospects. There's a ground ball to the right side. Fielded by Austin, going back to the bag is Lovich. Stars. 2-1 to White. Hit high in the air, playable right center. Curtis over into the gap, will make the catch. And that's the second out. See if he can get on with two outs in the second. Rustad plunked it. That's one way to get on. Rustad had a she end of that route one way or another. Stovall swings, drives one high in the air, deep center field. Curtis back near the 400 foot marker, and he's got enough room to make the catch. Like everything's coming out of that same slot. Ground ball to short for Aloy. He's going to retire Cerna to begin the th down to 243. And there is strikeout number six, Molina Wilke, Jerry Curtis here in the third inning. Back issue maybe at times this year, but he's. In the lineup hitting to get my guys here. These are his guys now and trying to compete with them. But Mason Molina and this Arkansas pitching staff, they've been a little bit better. Seven, eight runs a couple of Sundays ago and came back to win the game. Take it. And the pitch to Diggs. Tomahawks one on the ground to second. Austin's got it. We'll throw out Diggs to begin the third inning. Like they might never lose. Aloy socks one to left, but maybe off the end of his bat, and it'll be caught by Corona for the second out. Eighth inning, neither team in the game wow. had a hit. Both teams. That ball hit in the air, down the line and right, into the corner, near the pole. It's going to go up to 3 nothing. Swing in the long ball stroke. That is eight homers in three games this weekend. This is Lovich. Bounce to second is only time in. Pops that one up. Into foul territory, should be a play, not an easy one. No shuttle launches here, or Rocket team that's done a lot of damage. And that one, did it get? Aust or Moore, it must have. He was spinning away from me as he, uh, hey, need to my go, second guess go was, to the casino. was we'll just kind of keep everybody together. 
Off and running is Moore. This is a good throw from White in plenty of time to cut down Moore. Troy here in the fourth inning. Molina's pitch to Austin. Popped up, should be playable. Stovall is going to give way to Diggs, who's got the better angle, but he had a lot of ground. And there is a wave and a miss. Eight strikeouts for Mason Molina. I don't think that bat's coming out of the lineup anytime soon. Sprague Lott will roll one a short. Nice stop by Colbertson. Pops up, throws to first. That is a big time play. 0 for 1. Rolled out to second is only time in. Going to be two outs on two pitches if this one is caught by Lovich, and he will. Nobody is pitching. Yeah, they are. Liner right to second, right to Austin. Hogs set down in order. We played four innings on this Sunday. His payoff pitch cut on and missed. Strikeout number nine through four and a third innings. And a 3-2. That's ball four. So Molina issues his second walk to go along with one hit batter. And the Tigers. They'll cheer here on the swing and a miss. Ten strikeouts for Mason Molina through four and two-thirds innings of work. Play. Yeah, I think you're just surprised that it's not. It was out number three. Pop up down the line and right for Kendall Diggs. He's there. He's got it. Next week, and I think that's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday series. Yeah. So Monday, a little different feel this year for the Razorbacks compared to past years. There's a one-hopper to Cologne, and he can't come up with it. And Wills Meyer will reach. Gorilla in the dugout yesterday. The gorilla mask for Tigert yesterday. Stovall smashes one fair down the line and right. This one's heading into the corner. Wilmsmeyer's got great. Got his second hit of the game. And easily. So Stovall got the gorilla yesterday. It's his response. His payoff to Diggs. He gets the K, wave and a miss. Big first out. Yeah, really great changeup right there. Two-strike pitch. In the air to right. Moore drifting over. Now trying to get behind this throw. But Eva. Uh, from Aloy, his 17th RBI for Vahiva, and it is a 5 nothing He's hit yet either. So you might have a possibility. It's in the bank this inning for Arkansas. That's high. That's ball four. Every pitcher that Missouri's run out there has looked pretty good. Lovich lifts one to center. Should be playable for Curtis, and it is. Hitting over. Arkansas. It's unhittable. Liner into left for a base hit. The first Tiger hit is a single by Curtis, and that was a mistake that Molina made where he just left that one right off. High pop-up, shallow right. In fact, this ball's carrying a bit out there towards Diggs. It's first out. Castle Rock, Colorado native. Didn't play. Pitch to Moore is outside, ball four. So for the second time today, Mizzou gets a runner to second. Ball and a chance to turn two. How about a front door breaking ball for strike three? That's a tough miss pitch to Lovich. He did, but Lovich went out after it. Another strikeout, Frank Hayes, both that he faces. And the Tigers have yet to score. The correct pronunciation, but I'll leave that to them. Sprague Lott will hit one off the glove of Cologne and that ball kicks away. He couldn't handle the uh, ball that he lined a second his last time in, but you need a little luck too. And then he got closer to the pitch, too close, in fact. And see where's that one? Hogs have a chopper to third, and it's off the glove of Cologne. And the wheels will stay in motion. Sprague Lott will score. The throw goes mistake. to stake. Sprague Lott scores easily, and good job by Hudson White going from. And the pitch to Stovall, a liner to short. No opportunity for a double play. Colbertson checked everyone, but White and five has produced an extra run this inning. Arkansas, 3-1 pitch. That's ball four. Now the bases are loaded in the beer house. I don't know if they've been out at all today. They will. Hard hit. Pass Cologne into left field. This will score a pair. Arkansas has made it an eight to nothing game as Aloy is. 102 off his bat, pass Cologne. Hit towards Curtis in center. He's back. He's got it at the inning end. So Arkansas will tack on three. This is Curry. Drives one to right field. Hit well. Back towards the scoreboard. And the Tigers have their first six today. 24 innings into this uh, weekend. 
That's just a great swing by Curry. That's a fastball down and away. Cologne hits one hard. Aloy will spear it off to his side, and Vahiva throws out Justin Cologne. So that's, that's what you do right here. Bounce to the first. Nice stop by McLaughlin. Shovels to Fisher covering in time, two outs. How about Ben McLaughlin over? Kind of building in some excuses. Cerna will single into center. In fact, a long run for Wilmsmeyer. He'll go over and play it back in and hold Cerna to the two-out base. Graham. And you're like, you know what? You got the opportunity as well. Curtis with a chop at the third. Sprague lots got it. Scoop by McLaughlin showing off his glove in the left. Ball four. Lovich will reach to begin the bottom of the seventh inning. Sprague lot. Sox one. In the left for a base hit, so he started 0 for 2, but he's 2 for 4 in the game. On the ground to short. Could be two. There's one. And a double play. Nicely done. Lovich second razor back at bat, but he homer. White strokes one into right center field. Back towards the wall, high off the fence. Scoring is Lovich. White hat. That's a wave to miss. Smith will get the K. Arkansas gets a run, but they strand a couple of runners aboard, so we go to the payoff pitch. That's high. Colbertson walks to begin the Mizzou eighth inning. And that went on the top of the zone. Ground ball to short. Can Arkansas get two? A flip to second for one. On to first. Double play. 6-4-3 DP. You know they work together a lot in the fall, and you can just see how easy that turn was. A little bang-bang at first base, but... Pitch from Gage Wood, strike three. Outside corner, so Troy a walk, but a double play and a quick strikeout. That's what five on the year. It's a mile high fly ball to center. He didn't get all of it, and it'll still carry just about to the track. Curtis to pick up the RBIs. Batting average on the rise here, a two-hit game. That's 109 off the bat of Aloy in the left field. Damn. McLaughlin will take, and that is outside. That's ball four. So a couple of base runners aboard for Ross Lovich. On the ground to first. Little Brothers got it. No chance for a double play. Thanks. Sprague lot. Hits one in the air, right center field. Curtis will glide over and make the catch to end the inning. Arkansas strands have come. You guys want me? Yes. It's an easy answer. Lovich on the first pitch will. Two hop, one to Stovall. And Lovich retired to start the ninth, so we've gone out of even when he said he was coming to school. Ground ball to the left of Aloy. He'll glide over, make the play, and throw out Curry, and there's two out. Come on in a situation like this. There's a ground ball to short. Backhanded by Aloy. Nice pick. Throws across the diamond. Game over. The race run to the Tigers all weekend long. Yeah, this is a Missouri team, I think, is going to have better weekends. I'm talking about pitching. It was just off the chart. The power stroke came back for the Hogs in a big, nice way to start the conference. So the Hogs give up a total of eight hits in one run to sweep Mizzou. For Troy Eklund and our entire crew,